What exactly is an SAP system landscape? Is there a common setup the most companies use? In this video we will answer all the questions. Hi, my name is Anna Lekic, I'm an SAP Senior Consultant and a passionate instructor. Today's topic is SAP System Landscape. But what exactly is a system landscape? Well, basically, it's a setup of all systems that a company has installed. So the system landscape shows how the installed SAP systems are arranged and linked together. The most common system landscape, which is also recommended by the SAP itself, is the three system landscape. The three system landscape consists of a development system, a quality assurance system and a production system. All configurations, changes or new developments are done in the development system. Once the development is finished and good enough to be tested, the SAP transport management system can be used to move the changes to the quality assurance system. The quality assurance system is used for testing. It's very similar to the production system, but has usually only a subset of data. The reasons are simple. First of all, because of technical reasons. Usually a development system and a quality assurance system are not as large as the production system. Second, you don't need the whole data set for testing purposes and of course for data security reasons. Sensible data like sales or staff data should not be visible to everyone or people who are not involved in this specific area. So once the changes are tested in the quality assurance system and released for production, it can be transported to the production system. Then this coding is live and used in the everyday business. Another possible landscape variant is the two system landscape. It's an alternative for SAP systems where little development takes place. The two system landscape does not include a separate quality assurance system, but mostly there is a quality assurance client in the development system. For those who don't know what a client is, I will explain it shortly. Um, an SAP system can be divided in multiple clients. And when you log on to an SAP system, you log on a particular client of the system. If um, there is enough interest, I would also create a separate video about this topic. So leave me a comment. So the biggest disadvantage of this two system landscape is, for example, when you change cross clients data, it can be can also have an effect of the tests in the quality assurance client. So there is a high risk that the behavior in the quality assurance client differs from the behavior in the production system, which means tests in the quality assurance client can be successful but errors can still occur in the production system because of missing cross-client data in the live system. So another possible system landscape variant is um, this one here, the one system landscape variant, but it's um, not recommended because once the system is live, you cannot use it for development anymore. And another important point is to ensure platform independence, which can only be reached when every system has its own application server and database server. The next slide shows another variance in addition to the three system landscape. There can be also a separate test system called sandbox system. In the initial stages of any big implementation project, usually before the business blueprint is signed, 
A sandbox system is used to do all the configurations and customizing for new business processes or just to analyze the business proce processes, try things out and so on. And once the business blueprint is signed off, the configuration is done in the development system again and here put into transport requests to be transported to the quality and afterwards to the production um, system again. So use the, the common route. When after the go live of such projects, this sandbox system can also serve as a practice environment. Another system, which also can be found in some system landscapes, is the training system for education purposes. But sometimes it's not a separate system, but just only a client in the quality assurance system. So let's quickly recap. We learned that the system landscape shows the arrangement of all SAP systems in a company. The most common and recommended setup is a three system landscape where you have a development system, where you do new development or changes. It's also the only system you do your configuration and customizing. Then you transport it to the quality assurance system where all testing takes, places, takes place. And finally, when everything is proven and ready to be used in the everyday business, it should be transported to the production system. Sometimes a sandbox system is needed, especially when big implementation projects takes place. It is the step before coding in the development system and uh, just to try things out and uh, analyze then it can be implemented in the development system and take the standard route to the production system. Another possible system is a separate training system or just an um, own training client in the quality assurance system.